Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about numerical aperture of a microscope. So here is our uh, simple, com a simple uh, light microscope. So here what we see here is our uh, glass by which the light would be reflected. So if light is coming like this, light would be reflected and light would, light would go from this condenser lens and uh, light would get into the specimen and from the specimen light would again get inside the objective so if we zoom that thing we zoom that whole thing so here we, we have our microscope objective lens here we have our specimen suppose we have a cell on a slide here is our cell and here we have our condenser lens here we have our condenser lens here is the light source so for instance here is the light source and the light path would be from the light source light would be first focused onto the condenser lens then from the condenser lens what would happen light would go to the specimen it would fall on the specimen and then from the specimen again light would be transmitted to this objective lens and here I am drawing the uh, optical axis this is the optical axis and say for instance this angle in the optical axis is alpha let's for let's for a moment call it alpha and numerical aperture is just defined as the capability of this objective lens to gather these cone of light so the light coming from the source uh, when reaches the objective lens it appears to be a cone of light the ability the availability of the uh, objective lens to capture these cone of light is known as numerical aperture so numerical aperture is dependent upon two thing thing one thing is these angle this half angle with the optical axis and also the numerical aperture is dependent upon the refractive index of the media surrounding these slide so if we write the uh, equation for numerical aperture it would be numerical aperture which is equal to mu mu is here uh, the refractive index of the media for air it would be one if we use an oil immersion lens it would be like uh, greater than one and times mu times sine of alpha alpha is the half angle with the optical axis so for instance we have a cone of light and we have some angle alpha with the optical axis and now for a moment assume we have another cone of light with which have an angle which have an angle alpha 2 now uh, the objective if we draw the objective here again the objective is only able to gather the light information which is within this small cone of angle alpha so if the angle with the optical axis is pretty huge then the information which is in this huge or this big cone is not gathered by the objective that is why we should always take care of the numerical aperture and in the later videos we will see that numerical aperture is also very important for the resolution of a microscope and also numerical aperture we can also uh, increase the numerical aperture by using the oil in the oil immersion lens for higher magnification. In the later video, we will see these things.